Hello guys, Synthesia here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and it's actually a completely different game to what I usually do. So all of my videos so far have been to do with The Sims and I just thought it would be um, a little bit interesting, um, fun for me to try something different and to do a different game on my channel for once. Um, sometimes I play a lot of Sims and it gets a bit repetitive so I thought it would be nice like once a week to try a different game um, and show you guys me playing it basically so today we're going to be doing this game so this game is Temtem it's a new game that's on Steam it's recently come out it's still in early access so it's a little bit unstable I've had a few crashes with this while I've just been trying to film this so this is like the fourth time filming this because it keeps crashing on this screen so hopefully it runs fine this time but yeah it's in early access about 50% of the game is finished and it's basically very similar concept to Pokemon um, but it has um, a lot more features um, so I've been told so far so I just wanted to try it out the, some of the things are different and it's supposed to be more challenging than Pokemon has become because um, I'm a very very big fan of Pokemon as you can probably tell I post a lot of things to do with Pokemon it's probably like my favourite series next to The Sims like I don't know which one I like more but um, I uh, yeah, I I uh, I like it. Um, I like the look of it, and I just wanted to try it and see how it goes. So I'm going to be doing this series for a bit on my channel, and if you guys like it, obviously I will do more videos, and you can just let me know what you think. But yeah, I thought it'd be nice to try something new today. So we're going to go straight into the game, and um, the first thing that is going to open up is like this customization um thing. So the characters are a lot more customizable than Pokemon. Um, so we're going to make like I don't know I, I'm not gonna make myself but I like to make um sort of like a different character and we can see how she ends up so I'm making a female character um I'm thinking oh, let's go like this round her face uh, yeah so um let's see there's lots there's loads and loads and loads of little different styles to choose from to start with and I think that like later on in the game you might get like um more options for customization but I'm not entirely sure. I haven't looked completely at like what this what's in the game so I might go with it like a little ponytail that's quite cute. Well, it's either gonna be the ponytail or um I don't know where it is. There's like one hair in this that I've seen that I really like but is it's not here. <laughs> it might have been that one but I don't know. Oh it was this one. Um so I was gonna go for either like this one or Maybe like the ponytail and what, and we'll see like colour wise. Um, I'm not sure. There's just too much to choose from. I never have this issue like playing Pokemon because it's just like standard, like what it is. So we, I, I wanted to have grey hair though, like very anime. Okay, so uh, let's go with this jumper or like a hoodie. I might want to have uh, to have a hoodie, um, and then. Is there shorts with like uh, this one? Yeah, so we're gonna go with this. Um, ideally, I think it like yeah. So ideally, it changes like everything. That's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna have a grey bag. Yeah. So there we go. So that's pretty much all it is. I'm gonna have to give it a name. I actually started this game before, and I've just deleted it and started a new one. So it's already got my name that I want to have in there. So. Um, I'm, that's how I'm going to finish it and um, we're just going to give her that name um, oh. okay, it's Georgia Georgia still sleeping come on wakey wakey good morning Georgia oh okay I had this dream well you better wake up first they're all waiting for you who ah ha you sleep ahead you don't remember what day it is today it's uh today's my apprentice eve haha -ha, exactly my dear congratulations oh. Okay, so we've got a Tempedia. I suppose that's like a Pokedex. Yeah, it is. They call them Tamers, not Trainers. And they, you get like um, the Temtempedia thing, whatever. Okay. Um, here is your presence. Oh, a Tempedia? You're an apprentice now. Soon you'll be heading to the academia. So I figured you'll need a good Tempedia. Love you, Aina. Love you too, Georgia. So, do you know how it works? Mm -hmm. Yes, the Tempedia li lists all the Temtem I capture and stores info about them. Professor Constantinos showed us how to use his. And now you have your own. Well, hurry up, they're all waiting for you. Okay, so they are waiting for me to become, like, um, 
to come and get my poke uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop myself calling it Pokemon because I keep wanting to say get my Pokemon because it is very similar I literally played like the first bit of the game and then I decided to start again because I was kind of thinking um, I was gonna start this series but I didn't want to start like when I was already doing something so like I'll start from the beginning so you guys can see it if you are interested to get the game um, it's Georgia congrats Happy Apprentices Eve, Georgia. Oh my, all of Zadar is here. Congratulations, Georgia. We know this is a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. We've got you a little pocket money for the trip to academia. It's not much, but we've all chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, my dear neighbours. But Georgia, where's your friend Max? Here he is. Someone calling? <laughs> oh, hey, Georgia. Did you know it's my Apprentices Eve too? Hello, Max. We are waiting for oh. Professor Constantinos. Hi kids, are you ready? Ah, Professor Constantinos, please ca take care of Georgia. Ah children, they grow so fast and then one day they're gone. Don't worry my dear Aina, I'll drop Georgia and Max off at the Academia on the way to the university. Cool, can we go with you? <laughs> yeah, hey, you're still a bit young to come with me to the university Max, but who knows, perhaps one day if you persevere. What about you Georgia, big plans for the future? Georgia isn't that good at handling Tim Tim, but that's okay. Don't worry, Georgia. You can always stay here and take care of Aina, right? Hey, Max, Georgia, come with me. We'll drop by my lab to grab, grab a couple of things, and then we'll be on our way. Take care, Georgia. I love you. I know you'll do great. Come on, kids, let's go. Okay, so we've got to go to the professor's lab um, to get our first Tim Tim. Um, so, I don't know if I've said this before, um, already, that this game's actually an MMO. So at the start, you won't have like other people appearing, but you will like when once you finish like the tutorial. It's it's got like a lot of other players will come upon the map. Hey Georgia, come here. Okay, so these are the Temtem we can choose from. Um, very well, kids. As you know, this is your Apprentice Eve, meaning you have already learned all the basic theory about Temtem. Now you're ready to handle your first Temtem. See those glass jars? Each contains a different Temtem from around the ar <laughs> archipelago. <laughs> hey Teach, do you have any digital? Digital Temtem are a very recent invention, my young friends. They are very seldom found. Ha! I have one! Where did you get that? Doesn't matter, Georgia, from the fancies to the humble of Temtem. It's a tamer that makes a difference. And since Max already has a Temtem, I'll let you get one. Okay, so we're gonna get our Temtem, and he is like a little bit. Like, the thing I really missed about uh, in Pokemon is like the rival isn't like. Like, the rival always used to be like a little bit of an ass. You know, <laughs> you didn't like them. And in the in the current games, they're supposed to be like your friends. So this is Crystal. This is a Crystal Temtem. They're strong against electric and mental, but we against fire and earth. So um, that one is Crystal. That is like my favourite one. That is so uh, cute. Okay, so this is like a monkey one. A uh, Smarzy is a melee Temtem. Um, they're strong against earth and crystal, but we against mental. Um, and then the next one is oh, I can't remember what this one's called. Um, Hoochick, okay, this one's a mental one, it's strong against neutral and melee, but weak against crystal. Um, so I believe that you can actually get these in the world um, eventually, I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but I think you can, uh, from what I've read. But I'm going to go with crystal because this one is just so cute, I just love I love it, and that's what, <laughs> this is the one I want. So we're going to pick this one, um, and I'm going to actually call um, her emerald because I just thought, like... You know, that's quite like for a, for a crystal Pokemon, he's green. That's like a good thing. So they've also got like traits and stuff. Um if you guys know like in Pokemon as well, they have like these traits that like when they attack they get like different perks. So this one gets um an increased um special uh, defence when it's attacked with water. So these are what the stats are pretty much the same as Pokemon. I keep referring back to it and obviously it is a different game but like it's a very, very similar in the way it works, except for the fact it's an MMO. Um so let's go outside and we're gonna have to battle our rival because obviously like I've said this is um this is very similar to Pokemon and so the same sort of things end up happening at the start anyway. I haven't got too far into it so um I actually lost this battle when I played on mine because his Pokemon is actually really strong and it's actually, um, I think it's got a type advantage over mine. So let's try and see what we can do. So you get stamina, that's um, what I was going to say, you get stamina when you attack. So you can only like attack 
with a sit. Like, so that's just five of my stamina. So you can't just keep like spamming the same move. Okay, so the, he can do like this mechanical heat. So he's taking my HP down to one, um, which kind of sucks a little bit. But um, and then he attacks first. So this is the same thing that happened to me before. Um, I don't know whether it depends which Pokemon you use, but he did beat us. So um, it lets you carry on anyway, so that's fine. The digital Temtem gave him an edge, basically. It's all about the tamer, not the Temtem. Didn't you say that a minute ago, Teach? Congratulations, Max. Don't let this first defeat affect you too much, Georgia. You never really stood a chance against Max's Ori. Digital Temtem are rare and powerful innovation. Let me take a look at your Emerald. It could use a couple of bandages and some balm. There, all healed. To level the playing field, I have something for you. Okay, so this is, um, I can't remember what it's called, uh, two, two ways, so he is so cute as well, it's actually a girl one, um, so I'm going to call here, uh, call it Perry, because I just like that name, and um, we can send him to the squad, um, he's actually one of the rarest Temtems he's ever found, so fair enough. Well, I don't get one of those. You already have your digital Temtem, Max. Still, not fair. My research suggests Ture might react to certain places of power, but I haven't found any on this island. See, you can actually see the um, the like the players that are coming up now because it's come on to MMO. So we can walk to Academia now, basically, um, and we're gonna walk through like all this um things. So they're gonna give us Tem cards, which is what we use to get new Temtems, and um the bombs which is like potions so we can like heal with these bombs um i really really love the art style of this game i think it is absolutely beautiful like look at it and the and the temtem follow you around as well um which i really love that too so we have got to go like up to um i have this is the furthest i got so we gotta go up to the uh I can't remember what it's called. It's like a city up, up here. <laughs> I've just read it. So this is like another player with a lovely name. Um, and there's a like yeah. So like you've got like all these players about. Obviously there's not too much. There's not really like a survey select. So I, s I kind of think that everyone is on the same server, but I'm not too sure. Um, like I said, it's only 50% complete. Um, it's actually quite expensive for an indie game, and it's. In the UK, anyway, it's twenty-seven ninety-nine on Steam, I think. So it is a bit steep, um, considering it's not finished. But I actually think that it's really good, and considering like Pokemon is like fifty pound, I think it isn't too much money. Um, I just hope that it gets finished um, to a good standard, because obviously at the moment it has like quite a lot of crashes, and you can see it just say it's in in early access, um, and. I like I'm looking forward to see what they're gonna make this game to be honest. I think at the moment there's only 80 Temtem as well, like in the game, compared to like the first Pokemon game there's 150 Pokemon. So the, I don't know if they're planning on adding more. I have to check on that but I, I can't remember. I did read an article about it but that was like last week and I bought this game like when it came out pretty much like I think a couple of days after it came out. But um it hasn't had um like, I haven't really had a chance to play much of it yet, and like I said, I wanted to do a series of it, so... Um, obviously, like, in this battle, the stamina has gone right down, so we've got to wait for, like, our stamina to come up. If we... Like, we can wait a turn now. Um, if we try and attack, it will actually take our HP down. So I could actually just... I could actually just do that, and, like, the HP will all come down, um, because he attacked with um, not enough stamina, so, like, he damaged himself a couple of um, hit points, which is fine. Um, but I really like that in, in the game because it like makes you really think about what you're going to do. It makes you have to like really plan your next move, um, which like I said is really interesting um, t to like have to think about things more um, and not have the same like easy um, it, like same easy mechanics basically. Um, I hope nobody like if someone really likes Pokemon and if somebody really likes the um, Sword and Shield, then like I am sorry. I'm not trying to criticise Pokemon. I absolutely love it. It's like I like I said, it's one of my favourite series. But one of my hardest things with the um, with the game at the moment is that it's too easy. I actually have stopped playing. I haven't fin I haven't finished Sword and Shield. It was um, it was easy and. I missed the, like I'm not going to go into the deck stuff, but I did miss the, the national decks. Um, a lot of my favourites weren't in the game, which is sad. But like, hopefully they'll come with the next expansion. 
that they're gonna do soon. And then also like I played Let's Go and that was ridiculous. Like my four year old son at the time could do it, you know. So I mean that's there's no challenge in it. Um, which is something like this is a lot more challenging because I have to think about like what my stamina is. Um and I haven't learned the type advantages and stuff yet, but hopefully like in the in the future I can learn properly what they are and that will like help me a bit because I just kind of just trying to attack and see what happens I know that it said that my uh, temtem crystal crystal temtem was like um, it didn't uh, it what's the word I can't think what it is it was weak I don't know why I couldn't think of that it was weak to um to fire and earth so I know that so much okay so this is our first like wild one we've seen um, so we can actually, if we wanted to, we could actually catch it, but I'm not going to catch it yet because I'm actually trying to get to, um, oh no, I was trying to get to, like, somewhere I can heal them. I'm trying to see if I can find that because I don't know if this game, like, has, um, I don't know what the equivalent is, whether they have, like, a centre that you can go to to, to heal your pole. Um I'm going to have to really stop myself. I keep saying Pokemon. I keep wanting to say Poke Centre, but, um, yeah. Uh, so, okay, finally, right. So we've been able to run away, and we can head to. Uh, this is the door. This is like the starting place. Um, and I haven't looked at any of these houses yet, but I would assume like if there was somewhere I can heal up, then it would be like I got. I don't know if this is supposed to be my mom, or like my carer. I. Yes. We can go to this lady to heal our Pokemon. Temtem! Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm going to have to just remind myself I'm playing Temtem, I'm not playing Pokemon. Um, so if we head back up here, I would like to try and catch a Pokemon in this episode. I would like to try and catch my first um, Temtem in the wild because when I did play this before I didn't get a chance to even play something. I hadn't got this far yet. I got kind of stuck. It's quite like they do appear quite often and all the battles are double battles so we've got like two things that have popped up um, that we could try and capture so I don't know if we have to do, uh, attack them first so let's try let's try and attack both and then see what see what happens um, and if we can like catch them with our card we have to sort of like slam the card down I think on them <laughs> that, that like catches them um, yeah, I think that it's interesting that all the battles are double as well. Like, it adds another bit of strategy because they can work together um, to um, to like attack, and you need like a bit of a strategy going on. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so here we go. Look, he's getting taken in the card. Right, so we've done it. He's been caught. Um, so he's got this hover trait. Um, damage taken from Earth Techniques is reduced by 50%, so he's got like um, a very similar thing to... Oh, I need to nearly release him. You can straight away release them. And, um, oh, I like to give all my um, Temtems uh, a nickname as well. So he's got like a levitate sort of ability where like if he was attacked by ground, like obviously that he wouldn't be on the ground, so um, that makes sense. I suppose okay so we're already on level seven it's great okay so let's try and catch this other one too i mean like you don't you can't have too many many temptums so when it like goes like that i think that means like it's like you need to get three to get it so those ones are two have both been captured on the first attempt which is great so i don't know what this thing is supposed to be keep okay caffeinated um Prevents a sleep state as condition. Fair enough. Um, I just I don't even know where a lot of my names come from for these. I just like call them what I want to call them. <laughs> it's what comes into my head first. Um, okay, so we've got two Temtem, and we've got to head through this grass. Um, I think. It can't be too far. I don't want this one. Um, 
first, like, I'm quite like a completionist when it comes to like this sort of game, and I like to catch all of the things. But at the moment, I don't really want to waste my time like trying to catch all the stuff. So, um, I'm just gonna like head up, um, as far as it. Okay. Interesting. I was gonna say we're just gonna head up as far as we can get, um, and try and get to this like little city that we're supposed to be getting to. Uh, so let's see. Okay. Oh, fails both attempts to run away. Great. Okay. Um, maybe I should attack them instead of just running from all these battles. Maybe it'd be like a good experience to me doing that. I, I just, uh, that's just my automatic response is just to run. But I'll, I don't want a battle <laughs> just at the moment. I just want to get up um, to the next place. I don't want to like spend too much time in, um, okay. Poisoning actually does like damage as you're walking, I think. Oops. Okay, we've got into the battle. There's a oh, it's on the floor. That's why I've, I like I kind of fell down and I thought I actually want that item. Um, so this one is Piggy Peck. I think it was called Pig Peck or something like that. Um, oh, okay. So let's do this and Wind Blade on the other one, so we can attack one at a time. Um, okay, so that move wasn't very effective. In case okay, so you guys didn't see that, it was like up here. It said like half, so like the move was like half because it wasn't. Um, I don't think that flying type was effective on it. Um, so we're gonna use Shrill Voice. That attacks both. That's quite good. Um, I think this this um this tem tem um. I don't know whether it's supposed to be like a flying pig, but it's like, it's pretty cute. Oh no, Emerald was knocked out. I don't know how many we can carry as well. Oh wait, we can carry six. I've standardly, we can carry six. Okay, let's use Oliver. See what he can do. So he's like, I don't know what he's supposed to be. He looks like a mushroom. Um, let's just use Peck on him. Hopefully that would like do something. Oh, okay, he, he did use Bamboozle, which means that it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. Oh no! One hit. That was a bit depressing. <laughs> One hit, and he's knocked out. After all that as well. Okay, come on. Um, we can do this. Yes. Okay, we did it. We got two Pokemon down from this battle. That's not very good. I I did have to say Pokemon again. I did. <laughs> I did just say Pokemon again. I'm really, really, really sorry if you guys have never played Pokemon. It just comes really naturally for me to say it. It's like tricking my brain. My brain thinks that it's Pokemon when it isn't. What is that? Oh, that's somebody else's. Um. Okay. An apple that keeps the Temtem vet away. Okay, so we get Temtem vets. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm running, running back to get healed up. Um, this is like, this is so much of a challenge, like, even just getting through this grass, like, I didn't expect it to be, like, I mean, to keep running back and forward to be healed off, like, you know, this isn't, this isn't usually what, like, what I'd expect to happen in a Pokemon game, oh, in a Pokemon game, so this is a good so far, because it's definitely challenging me, and I like, I like that in a game, I like a challenge, um, I want to see, like, a rare one, I think this must be a rare one. Okay, let's let's run again. Okay, because I just want to get to the city. So, can I get my map up? I think you have to press M. Yeah. So, this is the map. Like, oh my life. Okay, so this is the city here. Like the town of ZR, and we've got to like walk all the way up here. So like, it is quite a way. I thought it was like quite straightforward, but obviously it's not. It's like a maze up here. Okay. Um, I didn't realise how far it was guys, so you know what I might do, I might leave it here, you guys have seen the start of the game and like some of the basic um, like controls and stuff of what I've been doing, like how it basically works and if you like this um, and want to see me play more of this then just let me know, um, let me know what you guys think because I really appreciate all your opinions and all the things that um, you say like they make me they help me to make better content basically for my channel um as well as this i was going to mention to you guys i want to start doing videos for arc because arc is one of my favorite games as well at the moment 
and I wanted to know whether people would be interested in that so if you um, are watching this to the end and you'd be interested in seeing art videos as well then let me know that but I'll probably be posting a 10 10 video once a week um, maybe more than that it depends I might do like two videos in one day it depends like on how much time I have obviously like I can't tell that so yeah guys if you enjoyed this then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content I make Simmons videos mainly but I will be making Temtem videos for those of you that are new here and are only here to see Temtem I will be doing more on my channel for you guys so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon bye